What you are about to see is true. It happened in Brooklyn, New York on August 22, 1972. It was a bad afternoon for John and Sal. They tried to rob a Brooklyn bank, but found that they weren't very good at it. So did the rest of New York City. As police negotiated for the release of his hostages, they even brought John's wife to the bank. No, not his wife, Carmen. It's late already by the time I find out. It's just you and Sal. I mean, I can't get a babysitter. What am I going to do? But another woman, uh, another man, actually, a male transvestite who also married John in a private ceremony. New Yorkers watched the soap opera on live television. All of this was very embarrassing for John. But at least they got Al Pacino to play him in the movies. Carmen wasn't as pleased with her portrayal, so she sued the producers for invasion of privacy, claiming that they cast her in a false light. The studio moved to dismiss this invasion of privacy claim, arguing that, at the very least, they changed the name of her character. But would this be enough of a defense to Carmen's lawsuit? According to the New York Supreme Court, it was a defense under New York law. As long as they use fictitious names, you can't sue for invasion of privacy just because you didn't like your portrayal. Carmen lost her lawsuit, but her impact lives on in Hollywood. From now on, most movies come with a disclaimer. For the Legal Television Network, I'm Erwin Kramer. You can protect yourself because you want to avoid a lawsuit. If you don't know how the system works, you're not going to do as well.